Multidisciplinary teams bring together subject matter experts who have deep domain knowledge on issues of national importance, with technical experts who have skills in things like research and design and delivery. This provides government with a powerful way to understand problems and opportunities and to deliver public services that are meaningful to citizens. We'd spent a long time trying to build a multidisciplinary team in the, and we'd done a lot of lobbying of other organisations, a lot of trying to find the right people, a lot of thinking very carefully about who we wanted in the team. So to see everyone in the team together, um, rare, ready to go, uh, was great and it, it, it felt like we'd really, it felt like we'd really achieved something. Um, and you know, it was, you could feel the enthusiasm for it. You do get such richness of uh, experiences and views and different ways to approach the same problem from across professions, whether that's research and design or policy making or communications or any of the other professions in government. They all are, they all have expertise at solving problems from different perspectives and it's that diversity of, uh, of approach and challenge that is that you need. I think actually my perspective is that policy and service design are, aren't kind of two completely separate things and um, there's actually the loads of transferable skills and um, methods and approaches. The thing is about the service design practice is that uh, I'm an expert in following a process in order to uh, identify problems and, and solve them. So I've got a lot of experience at coming at challenges fresh and new and kind of learning about things and comfortable with the ambiguity of, of not being the expert in a particular field because because that's not necessarily my role as a service designer. My, my role is to steward um, the decision making uh, across users and uh, experts, senior stakeholders. So user research really tries to get into the world of the user who will be using the products or the services and really sort of tries to understand what their needs and pain points are um, and how important those pain points and needs are. And then that kind of all gets fed into which one, which pain points or needs uh, need solving in order to make the lives easier for those particular users. Sometimes we can be quite departmental focused or, you know, whatever it can i can sometimes forget that there's a whole other world of the civil service out there um this really built some great connections of people i can look up in the future and actually say you know there's there's a whole range of people from the scottish government to gds to moj you know there's a whole bunch of different connections what is the most beautiful thing about a multidisciplinary team is that you don't have a hierarchy it's a flat structure everyone's voice is equal and you're kind of all in it together you're all a bit new, you all don't really know what each other does. Um, so there is no kind of leader and they are the these experts over here, these experts there, and you know, they're the top ones and they have their say. It's actually different experts and you're all different experts in your own field and you don't know anything about their field, but they're the experts. So they're here to tell you what they know and what they're gonna bring to the table. So it's less about this person's this grade or that person's the other grade or this person is an analyst and that's really important and it's more about actually we need all these voices and that they'll all be part of making the final product what we need. We had people that perhaps were very senior um, who perhaps hadn't worked with people who perhaps as junior as me because they're uh, currently a higher officer now um, and I was coordinating and leading people that were, that were, that were grades six and seven um, but because our, our, our roles were very clear that all became quite seamless and actually it massively added to the um, experience and also the outcomes of the project because we're getting all these different points of view now. We had people on the team who really were keen to do the project, who were interested in the project and put a lot of enthusiasm in um, and I think we just gelled really well um, as a team in terms of working together um, and despite being in lockdown I think that we worked really well. I think we all developed a connection which was great um, and um, I think that connection continues.
the multidisciplinary team mentality is that you take a you take a problem and you all use your expertise and your various different disciplines to solve that problem to the best way. Because what you what you risk is if you take a problem each, if you like, and you can go off and solve it on your own, you don't get that breadth of experience and knowledge and, and, and different ideas and ways to approach that problem as you would do otherwise. The most important thing is to focus on the common ground. And the common ground is what we, what we all do for citizens. And once you've established that, it, don't, it doesn't take very long to establish that. Once you establish that, then straight away you've got two really valuable different perspectives on what you actually might do to solve that problem.